companies to travel around in city breaks annually and being in various markets. I remember being in the Grand Hall in Budapest and there was everything under the sun, bread, fish, anything you could name was in that market. Fantastic place. But there's always one thing is lacking in a market is bread baked on site. There it was staring me in the face. So took a go at it and away I went. From mixing to soda bread coming off the hot plate probably in a turnaround of 20 minutes. So it is quick in a sense and that lends it to the, the uh, the situation of a marketplace or at an event as here today. They sell like hotcakes and they actually wait for them and, and in parts queue up for them coming straight off the griddle. Essentially it is near sort of repeated the traditional griddle as it was at home where a griddle was made over over the open fire and then it was eaten straight off the griddle. I think that's what I've sort of repeated here. My products are all Northern Ireland traditional griddle breads ranging from soda bread, potato bread, pancakes, uh, wheat and farge, fruit farge, treacle farge, which are hugely popular. I've also added in a few with a bit of twist. I've recently used Peter Hannan's guanciale in potato bread. Soda bread can be traced back to 1850. At the back end of the famine years, when potato was obviously gone because of the, the potato blight. So when soda bicarbonate of soda was imported from the United States, the simple search says that that's when soda bread was born. And we love it. It's, it's part of our traditional Ulster fry. You know, it's hugely popular. It's still alive and well. It's still alive and well here today at Balmore Show. Straight off the griddle, license of butter. There's nothing like it.